Hey y'all, it's Bo Brotherton with Better Together Life and the Shed to House Facebook group. Today, I'm gonna be telling you about something really, really cool. We are expanding our rain water harvesting system. We have a pump. All right, so first I want to thank our sponsor for this video. So National Tank Outlet has several like little daughter companies, subsidiaries um, of them. And I'm just gonna be saying National Tank Outlet, I'll put everything, all the links down in the description below so that you can find out everything. Full disclosure, this is sponsored. They sent us this pump and then some other amazing tanks that I'm about to show you. But before they even contacted us, we bought our two 2,500 gallon tanks from National Tank Outlet, nto.com, right here. And it was such a good experience. It was the cheapest that we were able to find these tanks. We're loving our system. And this killer pump could actually allow us to plumb our 5,000 gallon water system into our house. And even like if that would allow us to say like, oh, it's worth it for us to expand this system. This is super, super rad. So let's go ahead and do this. It looks very straightforward. It does have a couple of little plumbing things that uh, we had to talk to uh, Natural Tank Outlet to be able to make sure that we get. Also, if you're closer to like a, a Lowe's or something like that, then you can just go and get plumbing. I'm just out here in the boonies, so it's a little bit harder. We're now ready and we're gonna be using this straight into just normal garden hose because that's the best way that I can test this and it will allow us to water the garden but then also to fill up these other tanks. Can you see this tank down there? That's what I'm gonna show you here in a bit. Okay, so this is the Grunfoss booster pump. Uh, the inlet is right here. Here is the outlet and it has this cool like little cover thing if you're gonna keep it outside and then you just plug it in, and I think it's gonna work. Let's see, let's see if I can figure this out and not break it. Because if I can get this to work without breaking it, then you, you're, you're gonna be set to. All right, so I'm gonna spin this guy as much as I can, because I need to get like a quick release for this stuff, but I don't have one now. Probably should, huh, because I don't have like an O-ring or anything. All right, so I probably should use some plumber's tape for this. And if I was going to leave it for, you know, more uh, permanent, then I would. This is just for a test for today because this is the best way for me to put this. I don't know where this is gonna end up. So I'm not gonna do that. I do have plumber's tape for all of these other fittings. Now I need to put this for the outlet. There we go. And then this has the O-ring, so that should be fine, I think. Okay. Now, have the plug. I feel like Chevy Chase in Christmas Vacation. Okay, I got a light. Okay, so it's, there's some sort of power there. Now, let's come over here, open the valve of the rain tanks. Ooh, is this guy this full? Nice. We were able to get some rain and it seems like it ended up filling up to about here. It was pretty low previously. This guy is all the way filled. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open the valve and let all that water out. So everything should be going. Oh, okay. Yep. All right, so that's what I thought, yeah. So you see it's leaking here. So I knew that that was gonna be a possibility. I mean, not even just a possibility, 
I knew that that was gonna be a probability, but I think this will let it get in there. Let's just see if we can get this to work and then I'll figure that out. I guess I'm gonna, ooh, it's bubbling there too. I don't know why it's bubbling there, but I just tighten that up. Let me turn it on. Oh. Okay, that's doing something. Now let's see what it's doing over here. Let's see, is that, is there water? There's not water yet. Is there a kink or something? So it's saying that the pump is on. Auto reset. So if I turn, okay, if I turn that off. Well, this is where not exactly strong pressure yet. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's, so the pump over here, I guess it was getting filled up and I could hear it changing a little bit. Now you can really hear that water, okay. And then you can see that pressure's coming up here because I, I don't have any kind of uh, plumber's tape up there. So you can tell that that's doing it. So I got this messed up. I got leaking here, I got leaking here. That's okay, I'm not worried about that. But you can hear that this thing is full. Now let's see. Okay. <laughs> let's see what it does. Woohoo, okay. That'll work. Yeah, this is rainwater, y'all. This is from our rain tanks. This is so, so cool. This is our rainwater. Oh my goodness. This is rad. Okay, so what this does is once it hits a pressure, okay, cool. So you can see, so this thing has a light here to where this light goes off whenever the pump is running. So once it gets enough pressure, it automatically does this. This is called auto reset. I don't really, can't really explain how that works. Okay, so right now the pump is powered on, but it's not pumping anything. And that light just says the auto reset is on, but the pump on light is off. If I turn this on, then of course I'm draining the pressure from the tank. And then, and then this light now comes on. Then if I turn the water off, that I think it's still building up pressure. There it goes. Look, you see it? Then that light goes off. This thing is cool. Okay, I, what I'm now curious about, and I'll have to update you on a future video, is there a way that I can adjust the pressure coming out of this. It's good pressure. It's hard for me to say that it is as strong as I, like I was expecting it to like, boosh, like a rocket coming out. It's really good. It's really good, especially for all the things that we would need for this. I'm curious if it's enough for our house because we just, we like a lot of pressure coming out. That's something. So I think, I'm sure that there are some knobs that I can adjust. I just don't know how to do that yet, so I'd have to do that on another video. For this video, I wanna share with you what we're doing. Okay, so right here, you'll see in the background all of these garden hoses. It is a lot. And it, it was something that we thought about to where it was the best way for us to capture as much rain as we could because it was close to the house. But unfortunately, we have to run a whole lot of garden hoses down here 
to where the garden is. And that is where these rain tanks come in. Okay, so this is a 265 gallon slimline water tank. The good thing about this is it comes so much like pre-manufactured for rainwater harvesting. Uh, it already in here, if I were to take this off, it has a screen in this guy to where, I don't know, let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see it. You can see that in there that it, it already has a screen. And what that screen allows you to do is where you can uh, go straight into here and any debris is gonna get caught right there. It's, it's super good. Uh, it has a nice overflow right here with the screen as well so that little critters can't get in. Then you have two, uh, I guess these would be the outlets, one on this side, and then another one convenient on this side, depending on which way you would want to run it. And then of course, then, uh, then what is so great about this is if you wanted your overflow to be on this side, you could switch it. That's just killer. This is so, so convenient for it. Uh, so there you see. 265 gallon we got it in the green i think it really looks cool out here and the plan for this is for us to use the pump to quickly we could use gravity but it just would take forever but now we can use the pump we can pump the water and fill up this big guy and once we have that then we're going to have 265 gallons to water our garden. This would be the perfect amount of pressure from gravity to do a drip irrigation system all in our garden. Then we also have plumbed water if we needed to, but why not use as much as the rainwater as we can? Because right now the rain tanks up in the top, whenever those overflow, they just go over in the yard, which is still good. I mean, it's still rain. It's just, we're not capturing it but that will allow us to capture it here and then we can consistently fill this guy up. Now I have one more for you. Okay, National Tank Outlet was super, super kind and they gave us a second 265 gallon tank because now we can capture water on the front of our house. We just gotta get it working because right now, as you can see it's raining and you know it's just kind of messed up. I gotta figure out a way to get this turn and to get it into here. I probably should have just done four inch or three inch PVC all the way. It just would have been a lot easier. I tried to use rain gutter. I don't know why. But anyway, we're gonna try to make that work. I think I have enough like little fixings and stuff and little attachments to where I can get it all in there. First, we need to level these tanks and really give them a decent foundation. Then what we're gonna need to do is we need to secure them to something. Like for this, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to maybe ratchet strap it or somehow attach it and get it nice and snug up to the deck. And then down at the garden, I'll probably have to drill another post and put that into concrete. Really just because we don't want the kids, they like to climb on things and that would be catastrophic. Like, I mean, legit that would probably kill Finley if one of these things were to be full of water and then they would tip over. So that's that's the only bad thing about the slim lines is that it is a little bit taller and narrow. So I do wanna figure out some way to secure it. All right, this is such a cool thing. We have the booster pump. We have the two other 265 gallon rain tanks to add on to our 5,000 gallon tanks back there. As I look at this ugly old IBC tank that I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I got to figure out something with that. But this is such, such a boost. This is, get it, booster? Like, this is so cool. All right, I'm going to put all the links to these products down below. Go check out National Tank Outlet, ntotank.com. Go check them out. This is great. Go capture the water, capture the rain, get it, store it, and then use it. All right, we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.